So we're going to take a look at the password manager extension that you can add to Edge. So I'm going to click on a menu, go down here to extensions. Now if you already have some installed, they'll be here. And you'll see that later on in some screens that I have several loaded up in Edge already. So we're going to go down here to where it talks about that has to, to check out extensions. And it'll take you to the website where it shows all the extensions that are available for Edge. And here we are. Now I have another video that's talking about all the rest of these, but we'll go up here to uh, the top and look at LastPass. So uh, basically what LastPass where it says it is and what it does is that it allows your browser to handle all your passwords in a secure extension so that no matter what website you go to, it will automatically save uh, not just your password but forms as well. So let's go to the store and uh, go get the extension. So when you click on it, it automatically will launch the store and it'll come up here and you you'll need to read reviews and all that and make your own decision concerning the product. But then you just click on free and it'll go ahead and install. But again, uh, look and see what you think about it, uh, that you're comfortable and all that. And then uh, go ahead and, and click the button. Now I'm not going to show the install from the store uh, download time and all that. Uh, it's normal. But you'll see here is up in the top right hand corner, you can't see it all, but the top is asking you to go ahead and activate this extension. So besides the download, you have to accept uh, the uh, extension to be activated. So then all we have to do is go down here, read all that stuff there, and then click the turn on button. And it'll go away and it'll pause for some while it's loading uh, the web page. Because not only do you have to do it, but you have to actually log in here and create an account. So we're going to go ahead and do that and it'll come up with a uh, account detail screen and you do the normal things here you're going to put in your email address you're going to put in a master password now this is the password that you're going to use for the entire account you know to get through all your other passwords it's important that you keep this one especially uh, secure because it allows you to access all the others so here we are, we're going to put in the uh, master password and then we'll confirm it. Uh, we're going to click on uh, the login and it asks you to confirm it here. Again, make sure that they match uh, so that you have that copy of that password available to you. So make sure you uh, remember this one. Now it's going to go ahead and launch the website and we're going to skip past a lot of that. Okay, so uh, here we are in here and you'll see that there are several settings you have to check in here to make sure. Uh, how you want to set up opening tabs and a few others. Anyways, you go through all this and make sure that you uh, uh, configure it the way you want it. Uh, there's a lot of options in here, so rather than go through one uh, at a time, just to know that you have to go through this configuration uh, when you first set it up. There is one account setting that I would do. Go to your general settings and uh, put in a mobile phone number so you can get text verification so they can re let you into the account in case you forget your password. So once you've configured uh, LastPass, you can go in here and click on Add Site. And you come in here and you can type in the URL, your name for that site, and your passwords and all that. Uh, but I'm going to show you a little bit, a quick, easy way you can use for most sites. Uh, this is a site called imgur.com. It's used to load images. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and take a look over here at uh, LastPass in the upper corner. And we're going to go down here. Here's a list of the sites I have so far. But down here, there's Add Site. So I'm going to go in here, and image, or LastPass will automatically figure out what the name of the site is, and I'll fill in some of the information for you. Then all you have to do is fill in your name and password for the site. So once you have that, and you go to click on Sign In at the site. So if I right-click on the dialog box to enter the, the name, LastPass recognizes the site and gives you the username. And, and also the associated password and all I have to do is click on login and voila I'm in the site no problems whatsoever so you may already have your password cached in either Edge or Chrome uh, to where it's already saved for you but if it gets lost or whatever and you forget or you just forgot to uh, set update on your password LastPass is a great place to store all that stuff especially for those sites you very rarely go to, like maybe a Minecraft forum or something like that. Now there's other things that uh, LastPass can do. You can fill out specialized fields for every site, including things like your credit card automatically fill that stuff in. 
Uh, but get through uh, getting all your sites loaded up, and then you take time investigating all the other features of LastPass. So there you have it, LastPass. Great little tool to help you remember all those passwords. Well, actually, you don't remember them, but it helps you manage your passwords for all those sites that you have. No more resetting passwords and doing all those things that take time when uh, can be handled quite efficiently and quite nicely with LastPass. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10 and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10 and general how-to videos all here to help you make the most out of your system.